Welcome to Rules of the Game. I'm Jim Blaney, along with Dan Plant. Today, our topic is roughing and fighting. I won't be fighting Dan, so if you tuned in to see that, we're sorry to disappoint you. Let's talk about roughing first, Dan, because there's a lot of times where it looks like there might be major penalties called, but yet they send both players off for roughing, and that's it. How is the differentiation made? Well, a major penalty is usually called when both players drop their gloves and basically have a boxing match. Right off the drop, it's going to be Biala and Oduya. Biala right, Biala another right. Just some thundering right hands from the dancing bear. Oh, my. And down went Oduya. Roughing usually occurs when the players leave their gloves on after a whistle or something. The player will give an eye another little glove to the oh, face or a pop to the nose shove. or shove them around like that. That's usually when you get a roughing call. Again, it's up to the official's discretion. Uh, sometimes even the players will drop their gloves but won't get a five-minute major. Steve Goslin drilled his counterpart in Milwaukee with a clean check. And then the two exchanged a couple of punches. Now Ferner centers, blocked, rebound. Young kicks it out of there. Near circle, Leonov shoots. Young fought it off and then Jutra bothering a couple of guys out in front and then he quickly gets out of the fray. We've covered roughing, that's pretty easy. Fighting is where the penalties get a little complicated. Let's start off, first of all, Dan, by talking about determining whether somebody instigates the fight. We see all the time where guys drop their gloves pretty much simultaneously, go out of the fight, two five-minute penalties, and that's about it. But the instigator penalty, which is two, five, and a 10-minute misconduct, is a little bit more complicated to call. And basically, that's just to keep guys from going out and being a thug and just starting fights all over the place, right? Yeah, there's a lot of times when a player might not want to fight uh, for for some odd reason, maybe he's just not up to it for that day. But if that other player drops his gloves, grabs a hold of him, and starts going at him without him dropping his gloves, he's going to get the instigator. Then if Jim were to drop his gloves and fight me, then he'd get a five-minute major also. But I'd get the two, the five, and the ten. But there's a little bit of gamesmanship here, too, because sometimes in hockey you will see where two guys will look at each other, and of course they say, want to go, which is the operative hockey phrase, now you know that. But one guy will nod his head yes, but one guy drops his gloves, and the other player keeps his gloves on, and he's basically suckered the guy into a penalty. Yeah, basically he'll just get a two-minute penalty for that and uh, go to the box, the other team will have a power play. But he better keep his head up the next time he's on the ice, too. It used to be that at the end of a hockey fight, you would see guys skating all over the ice, picking up all sorts of equipment. By the end of the fight, the players were practically naked. But we don't see that anymore. Dan, they made a rule change to require guys to strap down jerseys. And basically, the strap is in the back half of the jersey, and what it does, it loops through a loop in the top part of the pants. There's Velcro on the strap. There is a snap on the strap. That thing won't come loose most of the time. It's designed to keep the jersey on the player. Yeah, that's that's for the protection of the players. Uh, you wouldn't think that in a fight that we're, we're looking out for the interests of the players, but in reality, we really are. If my jersey were to come off while I was in an altercation with Jim, I could go ballistic on Jim, make him even uglier than he is now. Because I would have nowhere to grab. With that strap, now my jersey is not, not able to come off. Jim can protect himself by grabbing onto my arm so I can't throw as many punches. Rook to your left, Millimacher right, Millimacher another right. Millimacher right, Rook to your left, Rook to your right, uppercut. Millimacher still going. Now, if your strap isn't tightened down before a fight and your jersey comes off, you get a game misconduct. However, the referees watch this pretty closely. If they see that the strap broke, and sometimes you will see a player demonstrate that the strap is broken, then there's no game misconduct if your jersey comes off. 